Okay, everybody, we are now at the end of lesson 17. We're on the last level and we are gonna do all three of these activities. So let's get started. I am Ms. Nunez. I am a computer science teacher working with middle school students and we are using the CS Discoveries curriculum on code.org. All right, let's go. So uh, we have our instructions, our help and tips. Let's get into it, linking external pages. Ooh, this is exciting. You can also make links that lead to other websites like Google using the A tag. Well, we're going to call that the link tag. Do this. Look at the code that links to Google and see how it works. Link your favorite websites and tell us why you like them. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so if I click on this, it's going to take me to Google. Amazing. All right. Uh, okay. So how did that work? There we go. Uh, sometimes just going to link. And then we just put in the URL. That's pretty easy. Uh, link some of your favorite websites. Um, sure. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to link. Ooh. Um, there we go. I love smile.amazon.com and I will tell you why because with smile.amazon.com um, anything you purchase actually uh, gives a, a bit of kick back to a charity of your choice and that for me is uh, St. Jude's so yeah Okay, um, smile uh, with Amazon. I'll just call it that. <laughs> All right, and then A. Okay, so we've got our first one. So if I click on this, click, it took me there. All right. So we're going to close that. We're going to close that. Um, it said uh, your favorite websites, link a couple of them. Um, trying to think. I mean, <laughs> there is YouTube. Oop. Press the wrong button. So if we go to YouTube.com and click on that, we go back over here. So A H R E F. Insert YouTube. I think it's actually that and then that all right oh, up, 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 up. okay well now we know there we go um, in fact I want two of them there we go so if I click on here YouTube it is all right all right I think two's enough all right um cool Okay, so I've done that, done that, done that, done that. Let's press the orange finish and go do the other ones. All right, the world's biggest waterfall with images as links. This is fun. Images as links. You have learned that the text you type between the link, the start and the end tags is what visitors to your page will see and click on when using links. You can actually add other tags and content such as images to this space in your code as well. Do this. Look at the code that makes the first two images on the index.html page into links. All right, so I'm seeing Angel Falls, image class, top image, SRC, da -da 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 -da. alt, da -da -da -da. okay. Um, so if I click on this, click. All right, it took me there. Okay. Use that same code pattern to turn the second two images into links as well. All right, let's make this happen cracking my knuckles and off we go um cone uh, okay all right all right i feel like that okay that, that i was like i feel like that already is one there we go all right so these are the two that we got to play with so a h r e f equals um victoria falls click Oh, wrong way. There we go. All right. Um, and then we got to add 
Let's see if that worked. Fabulous. All right, one more to go. And Niagara Falls, here we go. So A H R E F. Uh, Niagara, there we go. All right. And then we have to add our, there we go. Fabulous. Okay, if I click on this, click, and it worked. Bonus. All right, that's it. That's all it asks us to do. That's pretty darn easy. All right, um, so we have, I'm just going to add a little space there so we have some nice white space going on. Okay, we're going to press the orange finish, and one more to go, and we will be done. Fabulous. Okay, button links. Ooh, this is fun. Button links. Take a look at the image below of the five hyperlinks that have been styled to look like buttons. One, two, three, four, five. Can you figure out what properties and values you will need to use to make the links look like this? Oh, so we have to make these look like those. Okay. Find the CSS rule for hyperlinks in your style sheet. Click. Add the following properties to the hyperlinks rule set with the values of your choice. Okay. All right. All right. I like this. All right. So the hyperlink. There we go. Right there. So border style, um, let's do solid, okay. Border color, let's do pink. Why not? Um, border radius, let's do 25 pixels. And padding, let's do 20 pixels. Ooh, I like that. Let's do 10 pixels. All right, I look, there we go. Uh, text decoration, and it says select none for this. All right. Um, background color, let's do pink again, but we're going to do a light pink. Okay. And then color, ooh, let's do white. <gasps> there we go. All right, there we go. So now we have, okay, were we supposed to make them look just like this? Oh, okay, I guess we do have to make them look like that. Man, all right, fine. Purple, medium purple. <laughs> oh my goodness. Purple. Ooh, we don't have a, uh, I bet that's lavender. Yep, yep, yep that's close enough. Um, the color is still black and the border radius is more like five. No, it's not. It's more like, let's try 10, 10 padding. Let's try five. Yeah, that's close enough. That looks like that. Would you guys agree? I would agree. All right. So there we go. Um, we're going to press the orange finish and finish button. And then we've finished all three activities. So now we're going to press the other orange finish button. And this is my favorite part. Click. Maybe click again. You finished lesson 17. Great job. Now you can check in with me and be like, yo, Miss Nunez, what are we doing next? And I'll be like, all right, let's figure it out. All right. But in the meantime, you're done. Have a great night.